Hey, what's up everybody? Danny Lightning back with my weekly Saturday live racing session. And I'm going to try and swap today. So if you guys aren't familiar with how swapping works, some of you guys who are new to the game might not understand what swapping is. This is how it works. And if you get under 10 seconds, if you get a car that runs under 10 seconds, most people are actually fair that have the swapping symbol in their name. Cars that run sl slower than 10 seconds, a lot of people will rip you off and cheat and not let you actually swap. So what swapping is, is one person wins and then you let, then, you know, you swap back and forth. You win one, lose one, win one, lose one. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so here we go for our first race. And on the first race, you both try and win, and whoever gets there first is the winner. And I got that one. So now I'm going to let this guy win the next race. And then if I'm lucky, I'm just going to be able to do all three tanks of gas with the same guy, but probably not. More than likely, there's going to be some disconnection errors and stuff. And we got the 150% wild, wild card going right now. So I should get really nice RP for every win. Usually when the do we do the 150, I don't swap. I just pick one of my cars that blows everybody away. But today I'm in the mood just to do some swapping. And I mean, this is pretty much how it works. So I'm going to downshift to make sure I don't win that race. So we're just going to sit here and trade back and forth. And that's pretty much it. Not much to it. This is a big save time saver because there's all the connection issues and all that stuff we've had lately. This is so much faster than trying to connect to all these different people to do single races. If it wasn't for all the connection errors, I probably wouldn't swap at all. But it saves so much time. Here we go. And as you'll see, he slowed down, so he let me win. So that's a good swapper. Most people are actually really good swappers once you get under 10 seconds. Under 9, the, the faster the car, the more honest people seem to be. If you get into the, the 8 to 9 second range, people are really honest. So I believe it's my turn. Is it my turn? I hope. I can't remember. Crap. I believe it's his turn. Alright. Now it's my turn for sure next time. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to swapping. You're seeing it. This might make for a boring video, I'm not sure, but it's way faster than trying to race different people. I really wish they would fix the connection errors in this game. That would make everything so much better. Here we go. Second. Third and Nitrous. I can hear that my phone is lagging a little bit, so I guess this screen recorder does cause a little bit of lag. Like I can hear the RPMs going boop 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 instead of being like a nice smooth sound. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But they sound kind of choppy, so I'm definitely lagging a little bit. They keep adding higher and higher graphics to this game. That might have something to do with it. Plus, I got my screen recorder on like a really high setting. So this guy's turn to win. Not much to it. Easy respect points this way. Oh, he's gone. Alright, he must have ran out of gas or he disconnected or something because I can't challenge him again. Unless I can find this guy. Let's see if he's still in the lobby. Sometimes it just kicks you out for some reason. But if he's still here, I'll challenge him again. If not, then i got to look for another person. Which is a big old pain in the butt. Alright, I believe that's him right there. 
and it still says he's busy. So either he's refilling his gas tank or he's watching some videos to refill his gas or something happened. But he's still busy, so I don't think... And I don't think I'm going to be able to race him again. So let's find somebody else. Now those little up-down arrows like this guy has, I don't know if that means swap or not. So I'm not going to challenge him. I want to find somebody who has a definite swap symbol. Like mine says win-lose. Or you have the little recycling symbol or whatever. But the up-down up arrows, I don't know. I'll go ahead and challenge this guy. Why not? If I win the first race and he re-challenges me, awesome. If he wins, I'm not going to re-challenge him. But we did not connect. So, let's find somebody else to race. The connection issues are a pain. Alright, come on, come on. Let's find someone good. I got a lot of gas and I need to burn it up. And nobody's here so far. Not too many swappers in this room. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this room and go back and go to a different room. Maybe there will be more people with the swap symbol in the next room. Usually there's a lot of people, but not today. Alright. So it looks like I must have done about six races with that guy. And let's find somebody. I think it put me back in the same room, maybe. There's someone with win-lose in their name, so let's swap with this guy. Hopefully it's going to connect. The only thing that worries me about this car is some guys with that car will cheat you and won't actually swap even though they have it in their name. Most people are honest, but I've noticed people with that car have been kind of kind of lame about swapping. Not always, but sometimes. Well, he's trying to connect to me. So, all right, I think we got it. I hope. There we go. All right, hopefully I win this one. He'll probably beat me. Three, two, one, go. Alright, here we go, and I think he won. So, hopefully this guy doesn't cheat me out of the next race. I've had it happen like three or four times now where people cheat me out of it when they're running this car. Probably because it's so fast. And that's kind of messed up when people do that. I don't recognize this guy's name, so I don't know if he's a fair swapper or not. But, all you can do is try and see what happens, you know? And he's definitely a fair swapper. Awesome. Alright, so it's going to be his turn to win on the next race. That's some nice RP right there. Hopefully I can blow out all three, three tanks of gas before the hour runs out. I think the settings on my uh, Roku player changed because usually the screensaver comes on on that with a clock. And it's, it's not showing the clock today, so I can't see what time it is. I should probably get a real clock in my room. If I pull down the screen on the phone, it might disconnect me, so... You don't want to do that. I just like to know how long I have left before the wild card expires. The 150 only goes for about an hour. And I started a little bit late. It says we've been running for about 9 minutes, so I'm guessing it's about 20 after. That's just a guess. So it's his turn to win this time. Swapping's nice because it's just so easy. It's so fast and so easy. I mean, you can blow through a tank of gas really quick if you find the right person to swap with. I 
I don't even really need to hold back on this car because this guy's so fast, but I still run a little slower anyways, just in case. Maybe he gets a bad run or something. I've heard this car is really hard to drive because it shifts crazy fast. I guess it's really easy to get a bad run on it. But I don't have it, so I don't know. So it's my turn to win. But I know a lot of people say that when they try and swap, people are always unfair and will keep winning instead of letting them win. I never, I hardly ever have that issue, except for recently when this car came out. Now when I was running like tier 4 cars, or slower tier 5 cars, that was a constant issue. But I've noticed once I got below 10 seconds, most people were, most people were fair. Once I got below 9 seconds, almost everybody was fair. So that's the thing with swapping. Once your car get, you gotta have a fast enough car or there's a lot of dishonest people out there. It's kind of weird that the faster cars have honest people but the slower cars don't. I don't know why that is. I've always kind of wondered about that. Maybe it's noobs in the slower cars. I'm not sure. Now I should be running about 8.217s on this, 8.221s, 7.221s, something like that. So even though I'm, I'm lagging a little bit, or at least it sounds like it, I'm still getting some pretty good runs. So he must be out of gas, so that's a bummer. I'll wait another 10 or 15 seconds and see if he re-challenges me. If not, I'll go out to the main lobby and see what happens. Alright, I'm just going to go out to the lobby and see if I can find him. I, I think he's out of gas. Or maybe he disconnected. Alright, is he still here? I'm not seeing him. No, I think he's gone. So I Okay, this guy's got swap in his name. So let's see if we can connect to this guy. This is another really fast car. So this car might beat my butt. Maybe not. We'll find out in a second. They usually do. This is another car I would have liked to have had. Alright, who wins? I think he's got it. Yep, he got me. And once we get to about 20 minutes, I'm going to stop this video. I think that that's about when this screen recorder cuts off. For some reason, when I have it on the higher setting to get the best quality recording, it must be making a really large file because it cuts off after about 20 minutes. I think it's actually about 22 minutes. that's a good swapper he let me win I don't know I'm just telling you guys once you get in in the faster cars you know especially if you're below nine seconds almost everybody is fair not always but 90s probably like 98 percent of the time every once in a while you get someone who tries to screw you over Like, I don't even bother to try and swap with my Tier 4 cars, because most people there don't want to swap. Occasionally, you run into somebody who does. Three, two, one, go! And I believe it's this guy. Ah, oh, he disconnected. So I don't know if I'm going to have a race void or if it's going to give me the win. Nope, we got a void race. I hate when that happens. So I don't know if I had a connection issue or he had a connection issue. Usually I think it's the other player because if I go back into the lobby, I bet he's gone completely. So the, since he disconnected, it still gives me the connection error for some reason. That happens a lot. 
Yep, he's gone. He disconnected. So for some reason, it voided out the whole race instead of giving me the win like it's supposed to. It seems like every once in a while, it'll still give me the win, but I'd say about 80% of the time now, it doesn't. When the other player disconnects and disappears, it's, it's messed up. So we need to find another person with the swap symbol. And I'm not seeing anybody who's currently free. Come on, find a swapper. There's someone, there we go. That person's on Apple. A lot of people think Android and Apple players cannot connect, but I rarely have an issue connecting to Apple players. I guess I shouldn't say rarely, but I connect to Apple players all the time. I have a hard... I have a hard time connecting to anybody, actually. It doesn't matter if they're Android or Apple. You guys know how this game is for live racing. Lots of connection issues. But this person's got the swap symbol in their name, so... Hopefully this is a good opponent. And I think I won. I usually beat these McLarens, surprisingly, because I know they're really fast cars. I think they're capable capable of beating me if they're maxed out. But I almost always beat these McLarens. Then there's certain cars that beat me almost every time. Now it's this guy's win, so I'm going to go ahead and let this guy win. All right, now it's my turn. Yeah, swapping is really nice just because it saves a lot of time. So we got about three more minutes and then I'm gonna turn this video off. All right, I believe it's my turn this time. I hope, I kind of lost track, but yeah, he ran a slower time on purpose, so that should have been my win. Every once in a while I forget and I probably screw somebody out of their win. I hate when that happens, but it happens. Same thing, other players do it to me sometimes. Usually I'll still re-challenge them anyways if they only do it once, because it's easy to forget whose win it is and make a mistake. But if they do it twice in a row, I got a bad start there. If they do it twice in a row, then I don't then I don't rechallenge them. But yeah, if someone makes a mistake, they make a mistake. Crap happens. You can't get mad at people for messing up every once in a while. All right, my turn to win. I probably got time for one or two more races and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this video off. I think it's his turn, right? I'm losing track again. I, I don't know, when I, when I talk, I often forget what's going on. So anyways, I don't know if I just cheated myself out of a win right there or not. I have such a bad short-term memory, I'm telling you. Especially when I'm trying to talk to you guys. But yeah, I think after this race, I'm going to go ahead and... You know what, I'll just let it run out till it cuts off because... I'll disconnect from this guy if I stop the video. But we're almost at 20 minutes, so expect this video just to abruptly cut off in any minute now. And I'll just say, say now, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. We might have about two more minutes, I'm not sure. It's either like 20 or 22 minutes that it cuts off. How much gas do I have left? 